Looking for better rates? Jesus. You know you won't find them. State Farm's rate match, even if you do find cheaper coverage, we'll just match it. This is my house, and I want him gone. He is not a good neighbor. Get your finger out of my face. Save even more when you bundle a home and auto. Southwest Airlines, we pride ourselves on a smooth flying experience. But over the holiday season, we messed up. Our system collapsed and thousands of flyers were left stranded. And you understandably screamed at us for days on end, even more than you usually do. And sure, we lost $800 million in revenue and are being investigated by the FAA, which is why this year we are dedicated to making things right with a better, more modern Southwest experience. For starters, we are finally upgrading our entire communication system to 2008 Dell computers. That's right, we are saying bye-bye to those 2002 IBM ThinkPad laptops with a little red nipple in the middle. Also, no more missing baggage at baggage claim, guaranteed. From here on out, all luggage will be sorted by color. That makes it your responsibility, not ours. So, if you're going to Dallas, bring a red suitcase. Don't show up with a blue bag. Blue bags go to Charlotte. And make sure to get to the airport early to enjoy our new Southwest Premier Lounge, located inside an active Starbucks. We just get there early and hold down two or three tables for y'all. Southwest is also modernizing our entire air traffic control network. No more pen and paper. Our air traffic specialists will now be using our old IBM ThinkPad laptops with a little red nipple in the middle. Now I get a proper flight schedule, instead of finding out where I'm going 15 minutes before takeoff. And now we're streamlining check-in, but not having one at all. We're just trying to fill up the plane and go. You showed your ticket at security, right? You good. We're also upgrading our in-flight staff strictly with people who used to work at Waffle House. So come at them if you want. But these big bitches don't play. Here at Southwest, mistakes were made. And that's on us. Mostly. Some of it's on you. Hey, man, let's keep it real. You bought the ticket. Again, you bought a Southwest ticket. You obviously don't respect yourself, so why should we? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for flying Southwest. Southwest. Welcome aboard. Southwest Airlines. If it's that important to you, just walk. As a homeowner, you never know what's going to go wrong. I wanted to give them a bath. Luckily, State Farm has you covered no matter what the issue. And with the State Farm app, you can file a claim in seconds so you can get back to your life. Wow, that was easy. Thanks, Jake from State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Guess I won't be late for work after all. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing, is this dryer safe? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, hon. Have a great day. Hey, do you want a cup of coffee? I'd love one. No matter what your insurance needs, State Farm has a policy for you. Hello? Ah! Oh, Jake from State Farm. You're still here. Well, unlike other insurance companies, State Farm's here for you 24-7. Right. Uh, so what's the plan for dinner? Oh, uh, Jake and the kids and I went out for pizza, but there should be stuff in the fridge to make a sandwich. Sleepyhead, think fast. <laughs> hey, where the hell were you? Jake thought it'd be nice to take the kids to church. To church? Yes, to church. And I happen to agree. Now, excuse me. Say you're giving. You're a natural. Give us up. Like a good neighbor, just take a promise there. Woo, some heat. the insurance claim. <laughs> Looking for better rates? Jesus. You know you won't find them. With State Farm's rate match, even if you do find cheaper coverage, we'll just match it. This is my house, and I want him gone. He is not a good neighbor. Get your finger out of my face. Save even more when you bundle a home 
and auto. Oh, stay tight. Hey, Farms here for you 24 7. I just want an apology! Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And here and in my bed with my wife! He took everything. Everything! Step away from the edge. You don't have to do this, buddy. Limu and I can help. Liberty, 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 liberty. Anyone out here watching this new show, House of Dragons? I am the biggest Game of Thrones fan. I love their new show. And, and I got to tell you, I love that they're including black characters. But, but to be honest, the black characters, um, they take me out of it a little bit with the... <laughs> It's that blonde hair and the old time accents. It's a little jarring. Like, like, where are these people from? You know what I mean? And then uh, they're coming out with season two, I guess, soon. And somehow, Lauren Michaels arranged a sneak peek of, of season two of House of Dragons. It's exclusive, so check it out. Before we go to war with King's Landing, we must know who our true allies are. These represent all of our possible alliances, Your Grace. Thank you, Damon. And I prepared this family tree so we know who the hell everyone is. Yes, because our names are insane and sound identical. I've also prepared a chart of who's having sex with whom. And weirdly enough, it's the same as the family tree. You have a visitor, Your Grace. Lord of the Tides, the sea snake himself, Corliss Valerian. Lord Corliss, this is a most welcome surprise. Where have you come from? The Matrix. Just kidding. You must have been at sea a long time then. Oh, of course. This is where my people are most comfortable. The ocean. Yeah, we especially love being on ships. Never have any concerns with ships or what might happen to us on ships. Have you come alone? Oh, no, no. I brought my granddaughters, uh, Bela and Raina. Greetings, Your Grace. So happy to have traveled 40 days by ship in this ball gown, Your Grace. It's wonderful to see you, since you are betrothed to my nephew slash stepson's Jason Luke. Yes, I look at my future husband, and I think he is definitely going to satisfy me sexually. Mm -hmm. And to what do we owe the honor of your visit, Lord Corliss? Yeah, well, you know, I know that you're in need of allies now that your father has died. Died? Uh, oh, my God, man. What is happening with your face? The doctor says it's nothing. Just a little cough, and my skin melted, and my eye fell out. Well, I found you some new allies from even further away lands that have come to pay their respects to the true queen. Well, well, well. Good to see you, your grace. Cousin David, well, I haven't seen you in a long time. How does it feel to have sex with your niece? Yuck. This whole family looks like the son took a look and said, no, thank you. <laughs> Your Majesty, looks like you got a case of the monkeypox. <laughs> You're gonna die in a minute, ain't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, if it isn't our cousin, light-skinned Larry Targaryen. <laughs> Silky, your hoes are so old, they titties get powdered milk. You look like E.T. when they dressed them up for Halloween. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that was hateful, man. Your Derrick curl's getting a little dry. That's that dragon spray. <laughs> More visitors approach. Pardon me, Your Grace, but I think your penis just fell off. <laughs> you don't want any more, can I keep? Might be able to get some money for that. Who is this foul man? I came here for some dragon rocks. I'm down to my last one. What the hell is going on here? You mind if I um, get a light? Dracarys. <laughs> Be gone, all of you. Oh, no, there's more. I'm one of the baddest mother <laughs> West Coast has ever seen. One of the best singers and one of the best dancers, too. I'm Aegon Targaryen, bitch. Ride up dragons. I heard you like to ride lizards. Want to ride mine, your freaking majesty? Take me to Flea Bottom so I can check on my hoes. What up, Tar? I got a dragon name. Yo, dragon! Yo, dragon! Good God, it's the police. What are they doing all the way up here? No matter how high I fly, they always find you, don't they?
Winter has arrived, y'all. Temperatures dropping. And you know what that means. It's cuffing season. That time of year when we find a man to keep us warm through these cold months. But not just any man will do. That's right. We out here looking for some big boys. When a snowstorm, when chill is biting, but his jacket's unzipped. He bring in my groceries in just one trip. Till the sun comes back, I need a big boy hottie. Makes his own heat with his big boy body. For the next three months, skinny boys is dead. Forget a six pack, I need the whole damn keg. Big boy with a big old back. A California king, refrigerator stack. With steaks on steaks on steaks on steaks on steaks. Butter, bacon, cheese, and lasagna in the tray. Need an enormous hands and i hope he asked me to be his winter wife cause messing with a big boy will change your life it's cuffing season and all the girls be body like a bouncer big mouth breather and legs like a monster get in the bed and he gonna do me right and when we all done he gonna snore all night and then he stops <laughs> did this man just die anything i need my big boy got it if i need a snack he got snickers in his pocket big warm hoodie yeah you know i'm gonna rock it and if we go and travel you know we gonna put me in first class cause he don't fit in the back hey big boys go big boys hey big boys i like them big oh, wait, boys wait 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 Perky. i thought you only like girls i love girls but they can't keep me warm i want to be the little spoon sometimes it's like this I've been manning up the whole year, taking care of kids and wife. I mow the lawn, take out the trash. You don't think that I be tired? All I do is work and stress, and I could use a big boy so I could just relax. He need to have them love handles in the front and in the back, and yes, I want them three layers like McDonald's Big Mac. But if we talking girls, yo, I like my women big, and it don't matter what the season, like I'm thick all oh, year, yeah, yeah. We the reason for the season. These bears don't hibernate in the winter. And you know where to find us. We'll be shoveling snow and shorts. HBO's The Last of Us is a hit, proving a video game can become a prestige dystopian drama. This spring, HBO is doing it again with another iconic game. It's been 10 years since our kingdom fell. The only thing we have left, hope. I have important cargo I need smuggled to Rainbow Road. People say you used to drive? People say a lot of things. You got a name? It's a me. Mario. So what's the cargo? Not what, who? She's a princess, at least she was, until he took over. We'll never make it on foot. You won't have to. Let's a go. From the producers of The Last of Us and the master storytellers behind Mario Kart's one through eight. What's it like out here? Carting out here isn't a game. If we're gonna make it, we need all the help we can get. It's a Luigi time. Everything on this road wants us dead. What is that thing? Goomba. Sentient fungus with shoes for legs. 
All your favorite wacky racers reimagined as complex, dramatic HBO characters. I'm Yoshi. I'm bisexual. Name's Dot. Also, I'm bisexual. HBO picked the wrong game to do this with. Reeves Variety. Yeah, this ain't it. And it's the New York Times. You eat that poison? It makes me feel big, okay? I need to feel big! Because Bowser's out there. And he's the main bad guy. And we're out there in our carts. Woohoo! I love this! I need you to trust me. Hold on! I'll get you to Rainbow Road. Just shut on my seat! You can dodge it! No. It's red. What if we crash? A little guy in a cloud comes and uses a fishing pole to put you back on the road. <laughs>